Kia ora tola falava and warm pacific greetings to you all. Welcome to episode 3 of how to make a boomer shooter. In this episode I want to jump into making some more weapons for our player character and I also hopefully if we have some time jump into making our first enemy. But before we do that let's do a little bit of mapping eh? Kind of zhuzh up our map. I mean as we can see from the last tutorial we have this room here with a window our little crowbar just sitting in the middle but yeah it's more like a cell than anything else just because there's no way of getting out of this room so what should i do well i could make another area or well, maybe i should use another tower make another area that we can move into i guess let's say it's like this and we'll play it that we have a room we can go into which is cool but it's like what if i don't want to just make my map like uh horizontal where i'm just kind of walking through a maze well an option that we have with this is um when it comes to how we make our maps they're built on floors which is pretty cool so when speaking about floors uh how do i add like a upper floor to my building well wow. um there is a tab right here that has obviously what we've just been talking about what we're referring to is floor and this all is in floor one right now so if i was to go to floor two now i am one block above the map that i'm on right now and so now i can add more things into this right now so i got my little wood I'll put that down and I'll just occupy all this space. Go back to floor one and let's see what that looks like. And whoa, we have a roof now, which is pretty awesome. But it is quite tight, you know, I can't even fully jump, which is quite interesting. But yeah, we got a roof now. But it's like, I want more space now. And if I wanted to go onto that level it's like how would i do that well if we just use what we know is that this floor is a bit too low well let's say i copy the exact wall we have on floor two then on floor three i'll add that little roof play that and see what this looks like Oh, and I got my space. <laughs> it's like this trim is weird. I can change that. Yeah, I got a lot more space. Fully jump now. There's a lot more room to come around with. But I want to be able to go upstairs if I wanted to. So how would I make stairs? Well, if we go to this tab in the corner called default modifiers, these are all the tools that let us modify floors and walls in our game by default but one cool thing i should say is we can make custom modifiers if we'd like we can talk about that way later on but yeah let's see the tools we have right here already so we got exit let's say i click this and i place this on top of a wall you will need to with some of these modifiers if i approach that wall and press the interact key which is e it'll let me exit and either go to the main menu or if i had another map it would move to the next map and we got door which we can talk about um later angled walls these are quite interesting so if i put these on let's say if i had a wall tile and all of these corners here and i wanted to angle them in i can use this modifier just by getting the right corner and clicking on it let's angle them like that yes uh, nice now let's test that out and see what that looks like yeah we have these angled walls now but yeah it's cool there's a lot of cool um, things you can do with these default modifiers like even let's say if i get this thin wall modifier one is for horizontal and one is for vertical if i place them on these walls right here and let's say we go into game now now we got these thin walls. Oh, and I kind of made a hallway unintentionally. But yeah, there's a lot of cool things you can do with the mapping tools in this little thing. 
but the main one like i said we want to be able to move up a couple steps or so well obviously we got this item right here called steps so let's say i put one here put two here and put three here just to test it in this corner on the other side and as you can see it's made kind of steps up and the player will automatically navigate up these it already does like a check quite clean which is awesome yeah let's jump straight into uh, i guess thing i wanted to make mainly for this video was our first hit scan weapon so let's go back to our weapon settings there's our crowbar there the second weapon i want to make is our pistol awesome uh this pistol is not going to be a melee weapon so make sure that is not ticked and we want we don't want use projectiles because this will be a hit scan weapon so if we untick use projectiles this weapon itself as well as melee unticked um this weapon itself will have will become a hit scan weapon and what that means is whatever your vertical is pointing at in game and depending on the range um what's called number we have here just to define the range in which our our hit scan or our, our ray cast um is shooting by the time we click our attack button which is left click in game anything that our reticle is hovering over will get hit so um it's instantaneous compared to a projectile where if we spawn an object that travels from the center of the camera or the reticle to its designated new position um there's a time frame in which it has to travel from us to whatever it needs to hit but like i said when it comes to hit scan it's instantaneous so pistol we want our max ammo except that i have not created a pistol yet but uh, whatever so max ammo let's give it like 150 mag ammo will go 15 damage will go 30 double the crowbar um fire rate will go 15 bullets we want one reload speed i'll put that at 12 Projectile speed, don't need. Explosive radius, don't need. Recoil, I could add this, but I don't want to. And then ammo and box, we'll put that at 15 as well, full magazine. And then let's input our sprites. So we've got idle, weapons, pistol, and let's go with pistol one. Awesome. Attack is two, three, and four now as you can see when it comes to our animation we only have one two three and four frames compared to the six now the reason why i did this is because we don't need an uh, extravagant um attack animation but these frames need to be filled only because uh if we don't then it'll just have a blank frame so the pistol will disappear and then reappear after the animation is finished so to fill up these existing ones i'll just get the first frame because it's a looping animation so if i just put the first frame in it'll be kind of like a buffer but at the same time we have a full uh animation ready and then for our pickup we'll go pistol hmm, pistol icon is it yeah so pistol icon and then pistol hud right here and then ammo so I talked about this last episode, but let's kind of go through it. So like, yeah, ammo, we have a sprite here now, and therefore this item will be our ammo source. When we pick this up, we will gain extra ammo into our weapon, which is pretty cool. But these are all the frames we need for our pistol. So if we accept that, now that's all in. We've got all our settings done. Let's go to set position and scale so that it scales quite nicely on screen. So that looks kind of weird because here is our reticle, the middle of the screen, and I'm aiming above that, and I don't want that, so let's make it a bit smaller, 0 0.9, 100, maybe 120 down, actually maybe we'll go 150, yeah, just to be safe, and 50, yeah, that's cool, so I'm pointing right at the center of the screen, let's accept that, and then let's import some sound, so our pistol has sounds miss we do not need because this is not a melee weapon this is only needed for a melee weapon got all our sounds in there accept that and we will press accept here and now we should have our pistol in the game so let's go to objects and look right there 
we got our pistol so let me place that in the new room that we have might as well and now look we also have an item in our ammo slot which is cool so since we know this is pistol ammo even when we hover over it which is good i can click that place as many as i'd like in the game here and we'll click test to have a look at our new weapon and collect our pistol Boom. Ooh, nice little sounds eh shooting and we got our ammo that we're picking up and now look i can't collect any more because as you can see on the bottom right oh you probably can't see let me try and drag this but we got our hud icon in the bottom right corner as well as our 150 which is our ammo and we can't get any more in our ammo reserve because like i said i put it at 150 and but on the number that's right next to the 150 that little two there that is the current ammo we have in our gun so if i shoot two more bullets and i'm at zero and i try and shoot again yeah i reload that's the little reload animation for all the weapons um we're at 15 now shoot some bullets out and then i press r that lets me um, reload um, manually, I guess. And if I want to change weapons, all I have to do is use the scroll wheel on my mouse to cycle through all my weapons. Yeah, pretty nice. Awesome. So let's make a shotgun, guys, because it's pretty much similar to making the pistol. But the one thing we want to edit is the amount of bullets, the bullet number, because we want the shotgun to shoot multiple bullets rather than just one. We will need to edit our spread though. If I increase this, it'll make sure that the bullets are spawned and there is a spread within the bullets, which is good. I can leave range at one, we'll go import sprites. Awesome, so I've loaded up all my sprites so I can press accept on that. And now for the sounds. Awesome, and just like that, we have our shotgun. So let me accept that. And yep, there it is right there in our object. So we'll click that, we'll place that down now. And I'll put some bullets down. <laughs> this is overkill, but when in room. So let's go in and let's take some ammo up for our shotgun. Ooh. Oh, I forgot to say the positioning, but it's good to see in game i guess and see that it's working our pistol and those sounds are working which is nice cool and as you can see got our sound got that spread of the recoil oh sorry just the spread of the bullets which is nice okay so let's edit that before we leave shotgun sorry i'm a bit like finicky when it comes to that but that's the joy of being able to use a tool like this because you get to get into the details of everything and prototype things quite quickly which i enjoy let's press accept on that and have a look at it and game ah, looking good nice awesome I feel like this episode is getting a bit long, so we will save our enemy um, creation for the next episode. But as you can see, when it comes to making the head scan weapons, pretty straightforward as well as a little bit more of the mapping. But in saying that, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please like and subscribe and all that YouTube stuff. Catch you guys at the next one. Eh?